Hi, I'm Margie from Marjorie's Candies, and I'm going to make non pareils for you. They're sort of, they look like little snow caps, um, only they're a little bit bigger, or they're any size you want them to be. Um, you start off with, they call non pareils, they're these little teeny white beads, and um, you can get these at any candy supply store. Um, I have quite a few of them because I make them, so you won't really have to see this many. But you can buy several packages of them, enough probably to line an 8x8 pan, enough. But I kind of overdo it because I have them. Okay, you can just buy these little beads. And I've already used these beads once, so you might see little teeny pieces of chocolate. That's what that is in there. Okay. And then I melted chocolate. You don't want this bag to fall on the floor, unless you want to see me crying. Okay, so I get them in a box like that. All right, so we have our little beads, and now we have some melted milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Actually, these are these white ones are great with dark chocolate. Okay, and milk chocolate. If you can get little rainbow color ones, they look really pretty. And sort of when you go to a candy store, usually the milk chocolate do have multicolored ones. Okay, so this little container is the same container we use for our funnel cake. Um, I use this little spoon the bottom and it, I, so I can sort of go like this and I go, but I'll show you, but it comes with a little lever that goes up and down to close the hole. So I'm just going to, I put in a little container to hold it up and the little spoon does stay in there and keeps it from coming out, but if it does, it's in a little container. So I just pour this in and if you do get it, you can actually use a spoon to do this. You don't have to have a little funnel. And I can show you with a spoon, but if you do use one of these, it works best when it's full. See how that little spoon keeps the... Okay, so clean them out. Let me level this out. And I'll just go... I'll go this way. Just lift this up for a second and just close it off. Lift it up and close it off. And come right straight up. It gives a little point. You can make them teeny. You can make them bigger. The nice thing about homemade candy is that you can make the chocolates as big as you want. Okay. So I put these in my baskets. I just make them and then I make little bags of them. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. Fill it all up. Then it goes into the refrigerator for at least 10 minutes, but not longer. You don't want to leave this in the refrigerator because the moisture in the refrigerator will get on the chocolate. If you really just want to only put it in the fridge until it's cooled. Try not to shake it and just put them straight in. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you if you don't have a funnel, if you just take a little bit, okay, and just kind of do that. Pour it in. Actually, you could do another one. Okay. You should get two out of it. Let's pour. That's your first one and your second one. Just kind of push it out. That's my cheesecake. That's another video. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to show you how you can also make a, um, you can also do it, if you know how to make a bag, I mean, you can sort of watch what I'm doing here. Take your triangle. I'm not teaching you really how to make a bag. You probably should have a video like that. Okay. But. Make a little bag and then you can pour the chocolate into the bag and cut a little hole in it. When I work with the bag with chocolate, I have this little pad that I put into the microwave. 
so it's getting hot, like I'm heating it with a hot plate, and I cover it with saran wrap just to protect it, you know, and then I um, I just put, put this, whenever you cut a bag, you always want to make sure you know where your little tip goes, okay, because that's really important, okay, kind of get it away from your food, hide it, it'd be nice if I had a garbage can here, okay, so, then you just, now this goes a lot faster, you can just kind of squeeze them on, make your little curl, okay, Okay, it's time to take the nonpareils out of the as a refrigerator. Oh, they're so shiny. They don't even look like they're they're done. But they are. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use I'm going to use this thing because my hands are a little bit wet. But you can actually just scoop them out with your with your, I put them. I just put them into a little strainer. You can scoop them out with your hands. I put them in there. But these little things would stick to my fingers since they're wet. Because I'm wet. Mm. They're so much fun to make and so easy. Everybody, so I just give it a little shake. Okay, and we'll put them in a bowl, and you can serve them. Okay, that's what they look like. So have fun with that, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.